Okay, so welcome back again. If you remember from where we left off, we had just exported out our theme, which we can still see open here. Um, and we've got our menu, which isn't dynamic. It's just pulling in, uh, it's just pulling in static content here. So let's go and make this um, dynamic. So what we want to do is click on the logo, which opens up our brand. And what we want to do is under, still under the WordPress, under the site drop down. If you look, there are multiple drop downs here. So we're working in the site. We want to go into and change it to site name. So the content will now be the site name. Just minimize that and drop down. And we want to make this um, a link and we want to link it to the home page, home URL. That's all we need to do with that. Let's go into the nav bar. So under the nav bar. And what we want to do is we want to click on minimize the links and we want to go navigation and pagination and we want a WP nav menu. Um, you can add in a menu ID, slug or name. You don't need to. Click change it to a bootstrap because we're working in bootstrap. And we don't need to add any custom content here. We're going to replace the content, not the element. And we're going to give this the Prime Mary. So let's just go ahead and save that. And we need to export the theme again. And if we now go into our theme and refresh, we can still now see we have add a menu and we have West Coast Digital. So if we go and change the um, title now, you can see that is completely independent. And if we go into the menu, we don't have a menu, so let's go in and add a menu and we'll call this main menu. And click create menu and we'll add some items. We'll go pages, let's add to the home page, single page, blog page, oops, let's remove that custom link, home page, drag that up, home page, single page and blog page and we'll make it just the primary menu. And we can see we've got that over there now. And if we save that and close it, let's go and visit the site. We can't see it because of my admin bar. But if we click on single page, it, nothing changes because we haven't loaded in the templates because it's only loaded in the index.php. And you can see we need to add in a top of 32 pixels. So let's click on header and go to that prop. You can see it's got a nav bar fixed top. And let's go add a rule and make this that, um, oh, hang on, let's go in and inspect this site. Let's change that so it's underneath. And if we look, it is admin bar. So what we want to do is Dot admin bar dot nav bar fix top. So basically it looks in the body class which we added before remember when we clicked on we did that when we initially set up the WordPress theme and if that class exists which means the admin bar is loaded and then it looks for the nav bar fix top and what we're going to do is add a top of 32 px and let's go and save that and export the theme and now we refresh and you can see it's now dropped down. So because it sees the admin bar, it drops everything down by 32 picks, which is the default height for that. Now the other thing we've got here is I've got um, everything full width here. Um, I don't think I want it full. Oh no, we'll leave that as full width for now. I will come back to that. Um, but this is a full width. So now I've got that full width and I don't want it full width. So let's go back to um, our container for under our header for our nav bar for our container and let's just untick fluid. Let's go file save okay, and export the theme. So it's no longer forward and we bring it all, all in. So it's all constrained now. So that'll look a, that'll look a lot better. Okay, now let's start adding in our um, loop. So 
what we want to do is we want to go to our column here this is where our loop will appear this is where all our posts will appear so we click on WordPress and we click on loop and we go loop that's it that's all we have to do as easy as that no fancy code no PHP nothing scary we just click on the loop that's it now we click on our image which makes sure that is our image and we go up to our posts here so still under WordPress under post and we will click on the post thumbnail and we can set a size if we want to and we will set this size to but let's go and have a look let's go WordPress thumbnail size Google that and that tells us how to set the post thumbnail size that's not what we want to do uh, we will that's telling us how to do it so the code we're using if you look is the post thumbnail so if we go back to that then we can see the post thumbnail so let's click on that okay so it tells us this we can do the sizes so we've got sizes are medium large full thumbnail medium medium large which was added in 4.4 and large so um, let's make it medium so over here under our size we'll just change that to medium now click on your thumbnail label Now click on your thumbnail label and we click go up to the post and we click on the title. Then we click on the text here, the paragraph, and we click on the excerpt. So we make sure we're just replacing um, the content. Then we want to click on the button and we want to go to link. And the link we want to go to is the post permalink. Now, last thing we want to do is click on this div thumbnail here, and under the loop, we'll just click on the loop item. Let's go ahead and save that, and let's export the theme. Let's go into our page here and refresh, and here we have our home page. And if we go to our dashboard and we go to our post and we all post, we should see hello world and we're not. So what we want to do, because we're working on index, because I'm showing the index, I'm not showing the blog page. I need to be showing the blog page. That's all it is. Let's go visit the site. I'm on home page and I want to go to the blog page. There we go. So now we're seeing all our blogs. So if we click on there, it's showing us our read our hello world. Even though the content's not changing because we haven't set up the page for that yet but we can edit the post let's go and add in our featured image um, let's see if I've got any images here Oops. Um, desktop uh, do I have unsplash nope so let's go to pictures no. hmm so let's just quickly go cancel and let's go unsplash high resolution photos let's just grab this image and we go download that's what we want it doesn't let you you used to be able to right click and download it now you gotta go in and click download anyway let's just grab another one while we're at it I like that one. There we go. Our flower is done. Let's go desktop, new folder, unsplash, and let's go flower. And let's go save image as, and we go chicken. Save image as, and we call surfer. There we go. So now we've got some images low, so let's go select and we'll go to the flower one I chose first. And now we've got that. Let's go and update. So now we should be able to view our site. 
and go to our blog page and there we go so we've got our flower image loading and we could see that um, medium isn't isn't cutting it so let's change that image size to large and let's go save export the theme refresh and there we go that's better so there we go we've got our loop working so if we went in added in another post post add new another post let's get some lorem ipsum there we go let's copy that control control c add that in there let's set a featured image upload files make sure they're different let's upload the other two and we've got a surfer let's click publish let's go add another one and we're over the 10 minute mark oh no let's paste in more let's set this next featured image which was the chicken and we'll go publish let's go view the site go to our blog page and there we go we've got all our posts nicely and if we click on that we, we get taken to the post which you can see is only showing one now so there we go that ends that video where we have finished setting up the loop for there in the next video we are going to set up our widget area and then we'll work on our footer and I think that will just about finish the index page.